Good morning, family. Welcome to another vlog. If you're new, welcome. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So today is going to be a very, very busy day. We got a message from the airline asking us if we would consider taking a different flight. <laughs> I think they overbooked and uh, we paid extra for seats. So I don't know how this is going to work out, I promise you. I, I don't know, Donald's on the phone now with the airline, it's American Airline, and I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm, I'm not worried about it. I know my flight leaves at 6 a.m. and I'm gonna be on it. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I just came back from the gym. I had a good workout. Have you ever been to the gym and somebody next to you just be showing out? <laughs> so I'm, gonna just, I'm, I'm going hard, y'all. I'm going hard. And the little girl next to me, she had her elevation because I keep my elevation on 12. She had her elevation on 12. She went and got one of those weighted balls, right? And it looked, now I don't know, I'm just making this number up, but the ball looked like it weighed about 20 pounds. And I want to say this young lady wasn't even 30. Not only did she have her elevation up, and I don't know if it was on 12 or what, but you could clearly see it was up. So she walking with this ball in her hand. This, this girl started running with the ball on the elevation. I was like, teach me your ways. <laughs> Cause she got her workout in and she left. I was like, man, I was impressed. But I'm like, you ain't gotta show me up like that. You ain't gotta show me up like that. So this is the beginning of my mess. It's an organized mess, right? Because I'm about to unpack so that I could pack. Forgive the house, y'all. So I'm going to try to make me and Donald some breakfast. We don't, we didn't go grocery shopping because a lot of the stuff would have been like fresh food and I didn't want to um, have it go bad. You know, we're going to be gone nine days. So Donald has uh, sausage in there. So I guess we're going to have sausage and eggs this morning. And I guess I got to make the coffee because Donald in there on the phone trying to be an adult. Don't you hate adulting sometimes? <laughs> sometimes I'm just like, ugh. And my daughter wrote me this morning and she was like, mama send you money for your cruise. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. She said us $10. She was like, now y'all share a drink. <laughs> you have to know my daughter because her sense of humor is weird. I was like, okay, we're going to split. I mean, the drinks probably cost about $14 a piece, but okay, we'll, we'll share. <laughs> that is too funny. Whew, but I got a lot to do today. I felt like I did a lot yesterday. I really do feel like I did a lot yesterday, but I don't think I did. Because I have a lot to do and I wanted to wait till the last minute to get my manicure pedicure. We dropped DJ off at six o'clock tonight and uh, Donald wanted to push it back as late as he could because, you know, they, they got this connection thing. And I think DJ knows what's going on because he see the, the luggage. And normally when we try to go, DJ will go in the room and lay in his bed because he don't want to go outside. Like he's tired of this Texas heat, he's, he's over it. So we have to persuade him to go. So now Donald has to say, DJ truck, and he'll run to the door because he knows he's getting in the truck. But the truck was parked across the street one day and Donald was like, DJ truck. And they went outside and we were crossing the street. We normally don't cross the street. So DJ put his feet out real hard. He was like, nah. He didn't want to go. So uh, Donald had to pick him up and take him across the street to get to that truck. Like I say, DJ is over it. When we get back, we're going on, a, a, I think we're going to be going for two weeks on the RV. I think uh, DJ is going to be very happy because I'm sure he's saying to himself, when y'all got me, I wasn't living like this. I was living a little more free because he was getting more walks and stuff. He just, he doesn't like to walk. And this heat is unbearable sometimes. Today is going to be 105 degrees here in Houston. And then um, we're supposed to have thunderstorms and stuff like that. So that might cool it off or it might make it even more steamy hot. I don't know. So 
let me get over here and try to cook this breakfast for me and my husband. But Donald already had cereal this morning, so let me ask. Hey, Donald, yeah. do you want me to cook you breakfast? I'm going to cook some of your sausage and eggs. Yes. You would like breakfast? All right, so I'm going to cook for me and my man. He going to be my boyfriend, y'all. All right. multitask this morning. Just threw something together. I love hey, when you throw stuff together. We gotta make it do what it do. <laughs> Cause I, I didn't feel like going grocery shopping. So Donald and I are about to have our breakfast. He is going to make coffee. Cause I'm about to, <laughs> he didn't know that. But I'm about to. I think you do. I'm, I'm about to hop in the shower after I eat my breakfast. And when I come out, it'll be a fresh cup of coffee waiting on me. He's such a good husband. I'm a good husband, man. You're, you're a good wife, man. You're an amazing Why do your eggs come out fluffy and mine come out I put out a little solid. water. I put a little, I'm, not water. I put a little milk in mine to make them a little fluffier. Oh. Just a little bit of milk. Yep. So, anyway, I, fam. I make my own eggs sometimes, but it's always like dry and solid and stuff. So, now I know. Mm-hmm. All right, fam. We'll talk to you in a bit. I'll call you right back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hello family, 
pick up the phone. I'm back. I'm back, y'all. Listen, so much has happened since the last time I talked to y'all. And I was, <laughs> I'm like, we got to reset. We got to reset. This cruise has to be amazing because of all the things that are going on right now. But anyway, so get back from the gym. I'll make us breakfast. Take me a shower. We're just relaxing, getting ready to pack up, right? Donald remembers he didn't pick up his black shirt to go with his suit, so he's out buying his shirt. We're, we're doing like the last minute runs. Uh, DJ has to be, DJ has to be at the uh, babysitter at seven tonight. So we're doing everything that we need to do. We were going to go ahead and park the truck at the airport because they were supposed to have this really special deal for uh, veterans, right? Like you're, you're supposed to get this great discount and it was a discount, but uh, we would have to park the truck in economy parking and then take a 10, 15 minute bus ride to the main terminal and X, Y, you know, all the things. And I was like, I'm not gonna wanna do that at, cause we need to leave her about 3, 45 in the morning. I'm not gonna wanna do all that. So we're just gonna go ahead and Uber in the morning. Uh, we got an email from American Airlines because that's who we're going with. And they were like, okay, it's time to check in. Now, we bought our tickets from Priceline, which we always do. Like, we've never had a problem with American Airlines ever. I mean, not American Airlines, but Priceline. Uh, sometimes it's cheaper to get stuff through the actual uh, airport or the airline, but we found it just a tad bit cheaper to go with Priceline. And like I say, when we fly and do stuff like that, we always go through Priceline. Never had a problem. So anyway, Donald goes in this morning, you do, because you know everything is going, everything is going. I'm like, this is too smooth. It's too smooth. So anyway, they write us and well, when we tell them that we have assigned seating, they was like, no, you don't. And when Donald went in to check in, it said, uh, we can't guarantee seating, but I paid an extra hundred something dollars for both flights because we have to take a connecting flight. So, uh, I'm losing my train. Listen, the dog is whining about Donald. He whines all the time about Donald. When Donald leaves, he act like he's dying. Now, when we take him over to the sitter, the dog sitter, she doesn't have any trouble with him. He doesn't whine, he doesn't cry. You know, like the initial, uh, when he, we first drop him off, you know, he'll be a little wild, but then he calms down. You know, she always sends us videos and pictures and stuff like that. So I'm sorry, I hope that doesn't bother you. It bothers me and it makes me lose my train of thought. So I just wanted to say that, now get back here, cause you know, your girl be all over the place. So anyway, when Donald went to reserve the seats or to do a check-in, they were like, by checking in, we we don't guarantee seats. It just guarantee you a seat, but not actual seating, right? And I'm like, well, no, because we paid all this extra money to have seating. And so we get on the phone with American Airlines. Now they had a 65 minute wait, but they did have the option of calling you back. So. When they called us back, Donald was like, well, my wife paid for extra seating and you guys are saying that we won't be sitting together. And they was like, no, you won't be sitting together because we don't accept uh, seating from Priceline, right? And I was like, well, they charged us all this money and said that they do it. Why would they not do that? And they were like, all we could do is guarantee that you that you're gonna be on the flight, your seating or anything else is not guaranteed. Well, y'all know your girl is afraid of flying. See, if I wasn't afraid of flying, it wouldn't have bothered me. But what bothered me is we paid this extra money and we paid this months ago, a couple months ago, right? So then we get on the phone with Priceline 
and we tell Priceline what is going on. And we tell them, okay, we purchased our tickets July 1st, for example. I can't remember the exact date, but we purchased our tickets July 1st. And uh, they're saying that we don't have assigned seating. And I was like, we gave you extra money for assigned seating. So she looks over the account, we're on hold for 20, 30 minutes. She come back and she goes, oh, I see what happened. She was like, you guys bought your ticket July 1st. On July 2nd, American Airlines said they were no longer going to accept assigned seating from us. For real, like really, but nobody else has this problem, right? So they were like, well, you could cancel. We could give you your money back. You have to wait till you get back from your trip, though, because we're going to make sure that you didn't really go to the airport and use those tickets. And I'm like, ma'am, this don't make sense. I'm like, we bought these tickets way out so that we wouldn't have this problem. So now you're telling me that we need to buy new tickets. And do you know how much a ticket would cost the day before on a Saturday to fly from Houston to Orlando? I'm like, are you kidding me? And she was like, well, that's all we could offer because if you want assigned seating, you're going to have to do that. And I'm like, so first of all, when you realized that you couldn't assign us a seat, why didn't you refund us? Or better yet, why didn't you communicate with us? Why didn't you write us? Why didn't you call us? Why didn't you something us? And she was like, well, uh, we're going to get on the phone right now and start calling people and let them know that they don't have assigned seating. Ma'am, you, you're not making sense. You're, you're not making sense at all. You're not making sense. Like, this, this doesn't make sense to me. And she's like, we're going to refund you your money back for the extra money that you paid for assigned seating. But that's all we could do. And so Donald's frustrated, but he's nice about it, you know. So he's like, okay, let me go talk to my wife about it, see what she want to do. So you know me, I don't like to fly anyway. I'm like, Donald, let's just drive. We've been driving on this RV forever. What's a 12 hour drive between friends? And Donald was like, yeah, I'm not flying. I mean, he was like, I'm not driving. He said, that's why we bought plane tickets so that we wouldn't have to do all this driving. And see, now we're gonna have to pick up another hotel and we'll have to, you know, he's looking at the financial end of it. But I'm mad because of how they did it. So I'm like, okay, let me call and let me talk to somebody, right? So I get on the phone and I was hung up on like two or three times because they tell you, hold on, hold on, but then it's dead and they never come back to the phone. Like the last lady I was on hold for 15 minutes and 14 seconds. And I'm like, so I, so I told the last lady I talked to, Rochelle, I'm like, um, I'm explaining to her what happened and I'm trying not to cry, get mad, get angry, get frustrated because we need to get on this plane tomorrow and we need to be sitting together. Now, I know some of y'all are saying, girl, just sit separate. I get it, but why didn't y'all call me and tell me what had happened? You know what I'm saying? Like, tell me. So anyway, I get on the phone with this lady and she was like, uh, yeah, she said, I could tell you exactly what happened. Miss Rochelle told me, she said, when we tried to put in those seat numbers, they were rejected and we refunded you back your money. And I was like, when did you do this? And she gave me a date. And so I pull up. I was like, hold on a minute, ma'am. And so I go to my bank account online and I pull up everything. I see where they took the money out. But I, was, I don't see where you put the money back. And I was like, if you're going to do stuff like this, you should tell people that this is not what this is not. You could charge for the service, but you're not going to get it. You can charge for the service, but you're not going to get it. So I'm like... If I wanted this kind of treatment, I could have just went ahead and went with Spirit or Frontier Airline because let me tell y'all something. Round trip ticket from Houston to Orlando with Spirit was only $150 per person. See, we could have saved, but I'm like, I want it to be a smooth ride. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want it to be smooth, but... Anyway, we were dealing with that today. It just got really dramatic because at one point they were telling us that we basically had standby tickets, even though we went through Priceline. Because every time you call back, you get somebody different. And they were like, yeah, but if you change, that was an option. If you change your flight to an earlier flight or to a later flight, 
then uh, we can work with you. So then we agreed to do that, but they couldn't work with us. And I'm just like, I can't. I can't with y'all. But anyway, crisis averted. Donald and I will be together. I, I can't explain to y'all why I'm scared to fly. I, I cannot explain it to you. Uh, I just don't. I I don't like flying. Let me say it like that. I just don't like it. And we got connecting flights this time because I normally like to just fly straight and come straight back. But and I was willing to pay a little extra for that. But they it just wasn't uh, an option this time. So anyway. DJ, stop. See, he get right in my face and starts crying. This this been a rough morning, y'all. Y'all have no idea. You have no idea. I know. See, people can handle, a lot of people handle stress better than I can. But I'm like, if I do what you tell me to do and it don't work out, I, I somehow have a problem with that. So it, it's just me. I got my Halloween shirt on this morning. I love this shirt. It's pretty thick. I got this. Look, I got this shirt from Walmart last year for five dollars, and it's pretty thick material. I might have to make me a shirt because I ordered some shirts from Shein, and I paid extra. They were supposed to be here yesterday. They're not here, so I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that they will show up today. But if not, I'll just uh, make me a shirt. Like I got a ton of T-shirts. So I'll just throw some words on it. And we're going to call it a day. So I'll be back, fam. All right. These are our cruise peeps. Say hey to the fam, y'all. All right, fam, we just had a fabulous dinner. And we're trying to walk off that fish because it was really good. And we old. We're just old. And uh, we can't be taking all these steps this time of night. We got stuff to do. What's up, player? What's up? What's up? Say what's hey up? to the fan. Staying up late. What is it? Up, up in the in the break of nine. What time is it? Like nine thirty? Oh, ten. It's ten away. We ain't never been outside this Look late. Look at us. We're party animals. Outside. We outside. Okay. We outside. Did y'all hear Michelle? She said we outside. We out here frolicking. No, you ain't tell we're gonna be frolicking. Let me let me see you frolic, player. Let's go frolic, man. Let's go frolic. <laughs> let me see you frolic. Come on, player. Let me see you frolic, player. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna believe this shit, <laughs> man. We stuck. <laughs> We like stuck a, in the elevator. Like a duck. Sit down. Hey family, so I just wanted to come and show you the hotel that we stayed in. This is a Courtyard Marriott. I want to say it was at the airport, but this is the bathroom. It's just small. Uh, nothing fancy about the hotel. It was just a cute, quaint, little, quiet hotel. We were able to get plenty of rest. Um, I was trying to show y'all the room before we messed it up, but of course that did not happen. So this is like the morning after we got stuck in the elevator and, you know, I tried to straighten it up a little bit just to show you guys like where we stayed. Uh, this was our view from outside. Nothing much to see. 
it was by the parking lot, but they had the little sofa there and uh, the bed. The bed felt amazing. We loved that bed. You know, you just have your little desk area. You can see the soda and the wine that we're going to take on the cruise. We bought that the night before. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.